I'm an artist who works in war zones and conflict zones and mapping how land has changed by political events. And I've been living in Sarajevo for the last year and something that people often say about the siege is one of the most traumatic things was not the siege itself, but returning to normal life. And uh, people were very surprised at how difficult that was for them. Uh, and I think that's something maybe we should remember in this time is that almost returning to normal may be di more difficult than the new normal that we're learning to live with. And I think we need to be really gentle with ourselves in that time. Uh, but for the future in the arts feels incredibly precarious and um, it's very hard to speak about everything at the moment because what was true three weeks ago seems like a very distant memory now. Uh, but it's very difficult and very uncertain with everything frozen and trying to understand what we might return to and what we might not. But my great hope is that in the arts we are incredibly good at being resourceful and uh, pulling lots of different ways of thinking together, different disciplines, different taxonomies. Um, and we're really used to having it tough and being quite ingenious at adapting and scraping by. And, um, I've taken a lot of solace in how strongly people are returning to the arts now, to books and records, films, artworks, magazines, and uh, really searching out new ones, but also falling back to comfort food and the old favourites of the soul. And so I'm really excited uh, about what that might mean for the arts down the track and I'm excited about the kindness and patience and gratitude that I think we'll have for each other and for creators. So my big hope for the West is that it's a time of really practicing sustainability and not just in theory but really making the changes we know we need to make in our industries and personal lives and uh, travel and consumption. And my really great hope is that the echoes of this time will really, really stay in the way people live and uh, consider what they're a part of. Uh, my great fear, I have to say, is that uh, governments who are not on the side of their people uh, are going to use this time and circumstances against us and uh, watching Calais and Prosecco and Manila and what's happening in Slovenia and Hungary and uh, I think fearing what might happen to my home in Ukraine which has already been in civil war for seven years now. Uh, I fear what governments are going to do in this time of extreme measures when people can't take to the streets and protest. But my great hope is in what we're seeing in terms of biodiversity and as an artist who works in conflict zones and war zones, what you normally see is when we take out humans like us from places that the biodiversity becomes quite incredible. And it's you know often a, a really, really rich place for biologists to work from as well as people like myself and uh, what I've already seen, uh, I'm in Australia at the moment, of how the birds and possums are living in my neighbourhood is quite exceptional and quite different. And my great hope is that we're going to be a lot more conscientious to the animal world that we come back to while we've been gone. So my first instincts were to make things with my hands and particularly to sew and to read and uh, not just for my work or research, I'm really avid reader, but more widely for escapism, I suppose, um, which I don't do enough. Uh, my instincts were to cook and eat really well. Um, but most importantly, I think my answers are to look at other people and to watch what they need. Um, so never eat or drink red before you've checked that your neighbour has food and water. Um, so I think that the answers we're looking at are what our immediate community and global community needs and 
what are the tools, skills and technologies that we have or we can access or appropriate or learn in this time uh, to be generous and contribute as widely and kind of powerfully as we can. Um, so I really like the idea to use your treasure, right? Uh, so for some people that's material and financial treasure uh, and they should know that. Um, and for others their treasure is their skill, or their networks or their communication or their cultural capital. So I think for me maybe this is the answer is to figure out how to use your treasure.